So for what type of use cases do you actually see a big demand for on apparent like base layer blockchain activity? Well, the way I see it is that if you have a transaction that requires censorship resistance and requires a high proof of work, then you want to use the base layer. Uh, but in any time that that's not the case, I sort of think ideally you should have alternative options. So, for example, let's say I want to buy, I want to purchase my coffee from the coffee house next door. That's not a censorship resistant transaction. I am not worried that my government or anyone is going to stop me from purchasing a coffee. Um, even if somebody wants to see that I purchased a coffee and it's not private, I, I wouldn't be very, uh, you know, I wouldn't have much of a problem with that. Uh, although, generally speaking, I, w I would prefer privacy. Um, so I think we really need to look at this and say like, okay, it's limited. Not everybody's just going to be able to use the base layer. Uh, so we have to have this variety of options. And, you know, low, low fee transactions or low, uh, amounts, transactions with low amounts probably both won't be able to get on the base layer and should be, uh, should, it should suffice for those to be elsewhere if they are just not very important transactions. And now I guess depending on which, which country you are in, uh, maybe, uh, you know, your, your low value payments, uh, from my perspective is a high value payment to you, uh, and, and those kinds of things would be unfortunate, but you know, we can only, I guess we can only scale it, you know, as like, like there's no, as much as I wish everybody could just put their transaction on the base layer, uh, that's just simply not the case. So we have to really find ways for people who don't like need that ultimate security, uh, to go elsewhere and do those less important transactions on perhaps less secure, uh, alternatives, but it's acceptable because we're talking about uh, smaller amounts of, of money. Yes, I think that uh, trust and uh, the willingness to lay off responsibility to some other protocol or even individuals uh, is in many situations a, a favorable trade-off uh, and subjective, of course, to the individual. And so it's uh, impossible to make an arbitrary judgment uh, that holding your money in a single custodian is, is a bad thing. Because maybe for uh, that one user, it is a well-justified risk trade-off. Yeah, I, I think I would I'd ideally see it as, uh, well, I guess it depends on how much you're, you're saving. Like if you're living paycheck to paycheck, maybe it, it's it's okay to just be on a chain like that. But um, if you have any kinds of savings, and I do think, you know, that's something that's uh, maybe also kind of important to point out where, you know, today, we have a lot of uh, people that try, are trying to store value in places that are not necessarily ideal for storing value, like uh, housing, for instance. People, you know, buy into the housing markets really to just, really as a way of, of just storing value and as getting away from, from fiat uh, inflation. So if Bitcoin gets bigger, I think a lot of that money kind of goes away and, and goes into Bitcoin, right? Goes out of, out of the housing market, out of, I don't know, you know I'm not, I'm not a, uh, expert on, uh, um, uh, investment and things like that. So I don't know what else is out there, but I'm sure there, there are lots of people that are trying to store their value in places that is, they're just trying to escape inflation and Bitcoin is the alternative. So. Yeah, I think of it as, okay, if you have a lot of value, you just park it on the Bitcoin blockchain. And if you have your day-to-day -day expenses, you move part of it over to a sidechain, federated sidechain, for instance. Or hopefully we can have better systems than that that are, are, are more decentralized, but you know, it's always tricky. There are trade-offs. Um, and they use that smaller amount there. And then, you know, maybe once a year they interact with the, the base layer or something like that, or, or maybe even less depending on, uh, the necessity. Um, but that's kind of how I would see it, where you try to minimize, but still use it, but just sparingly.